This is a tutorial on how to use Microsoft Excel to perform a basic t-test for statistical analysis. Uh, the data set I'm using you can download. Um, it is in the link below. It's linked. Um, so you can go ahead and download this. It's the same data set to practice t-tests, correlation, 95% confidence intervals, and chi-squared tests. So um, I'm using Excel 2016 on a Mac. So if you're using a different version, this may all look a little bit different, but it should work the same on most systems. Uh, once you've got this data set open and we're on the t-test worksheet, uh, the next thing we need to do is turn on some functions in Excel. Now the first, on, on a Mac, the way you do that is you go up to the tools bar and scroll down to Excel add-ins. And I've already got these turned on, but you need to make sure the analysis tool pack and the solver add-in are both turned on. And then they'll show up in the data bar. That's what we're looking for. So what I'm, here's what I'm gonna do is the data analysis. And I get a lot of different options here. I wanna scroll down to a t-test and it's a two sample t-test assuming equal variances. This is the option we want, and then it's going to ask what data we want to look at. So variable and variable one, the range for that. I'm going to use this little button so that I can highlight this data. This data, by the way, is from a research paper that is also linked in the description, um, testing whether men and women really have uh, the same average body temperature. And we'll find out uh, if that's true in a minute. So that's the first data range is the data set of men's body temperatures that were measured. We're going to do the same, select our data for the women's body temperatures. Then the next thing it's going to ask is the hypothesis, hypothesized mean difference. And it's basically the null hypothesis. And you'll remember our null hypothesis, if we're trying to find a difference, find out if there's a statistically significant difference between these two groups, we're going to hypothesize that there is no difference between the means. That is, that the mean difference is zero. The alpha is uh, 0 0.05. That's going to that's give us 95% um, confidence. And um, then it's going to ask where we want to output this. I just want to put it in the same sheet and I'm going to tell it that I want it right in column D. Okay, so this gives us a whole bunch of information about the t-test. First thing it tells us are the means of the two different variables. Um, the variance, now I realize the variance is a different measure than standard deviation, so if you're used to looking at standard deviation, this is, a, this is calculated differently. Um, tells us how many observations we have. Um, this is our null hypothesis, how many degrees of freedom we have, and the t value or the t statistic. Now, you'll notice that there's a negative in front of this. That just tells us uh, which variable is bigger than the other. We can see here uh, that variable two is slightly higher than variable one. Now, after that, there are two different p values, and the one we want to use is the p with two tails. You'll notice uh, it, this has to do with whether or not we're trying to test that one group is higher than the other or if they're just different. And we're, if we're just trying to find a difference, we want the two-tailed test. And you'll notice that the P is 0 0.00526. So if you recall, if our alpha is 0 0.05, that is our um, if our p-value is below 0 0.05, then we can reject the null hypothesis, and we're well below that. So according to these data, um, there's a statistically significant difference between men and women's body temperatures. That's pretty interesting. Now, another way to do the same thing is to take the absolute value of the t-statistic, in this case 2.84, and find out if it's larger than the critical value, and that's what these are highlighted here. So the critical T value for a two-tailed test would be 1.97, and we're well above that, keeping in mind that it's the absolute value of this. Okay, 
So that's kind of a long, complicated way to do this, uh, but it's thorough and it shows you all of the um, information about the test and how it was calculated. If you're in a hurry and you just want to find the p-value, a quick way to do that is to type in the formula is equal to t dot dot test open parentheses and then it asks for array one so that's my first set of data in this case men and then a semicolon and if you forget whether you need a semicolon or a comma always check in here it's telling you what type of syntax it wants so this is array number two Then it's asking how many tails this is a two-tailed test and the type that has to do with whether we're pooling variants and we're going to type in type two to assume equal variance and hit enter and this returns or spits out the p-value so we told it was a two-tailed test and assumed equal variance. So uh, we get the same number here as you see here. So if all you're looking for is the p-value uh, to do a quick t-test, you can do it that way too. And that's how you do a t-test. Now remember, the p-value is the probability of measuring these data or more extreme given that the null hypothesis is true. Um, that is to say, uh, it's very unlikely, we're in the thousandth place here, so a half percent of the time um, you'll get these data, you can randomly measure these data, uh, or more extreme, given that there is no difference between men and women's body temperatures. That's uh, a pretty good um, pretty good probability that there is a significant difference here. There must be something different between the physiology of men and women. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Okay, that's how you do a t-test in Excel.